In this section, we're going to replace the water pump. The first step we need to do is isolate the cooling system, and we'll do that by closing the cooling valves. Isolating the cooling system will minimize coolant loss during water pump replacement. After we isolate the system and we've removed the accessory cover, before we remove the accessory belt, break the bolts for the pulley loose. Now we can take the accessory belt off using a half inch ratchet. Remove the pulley bolts and remove the pulley. Next we need to remove the thermostat coolant bypass tube. It's held in place by a 19 millimeter bolt and it comes out like this. If you wanted to drain the system, you can drain it with a coolant drain on the side of the engine. Otherwise, when you pull the tube out, you can just allow coolant to drain into your catch pan. Next, we need to remove the fitting for the engine heater. We'll do that by, by removing the hose first. Take the hose clamp loose. Remove the hose. catch the rest of the draining coolant in our drain pan and now remove the fitting. Our next step is to remove the hose. We'll remove the two lower hose clamps. Now that we have the hose clamps loose, we're going to loose take, remove the two bolts from the flange off the water pump off. And now we're going to remove the lower hose. And the next step is going to be to remove all the bolts that hold the water pump into place. Now that we have all the bolts out, we're going to take the pump and it should just come right off. And catching the remainder of the water in your catch pan. After you remove the water pump, now it's necessary to remove the old gasket. Use a gasket scraper and scrape the old gasket off. Completely remove it and apply the new gasket. At this point, we're going to replace the water pump with a new one. Our next step is to torque the bolts. The torque specification is 12 foot-pounds. We'll move around the uh, water pump with a torque wrench. Next step is to replace the coolant tube. Slide it into place. Put the bolt back in the bracket. On the lower radiator hose, cool, on the flange, there's a rubber O-ring, and that'll come with the water pump repair kit. So replace the O-ring, and then replace the lower radiator hose. Slide the hose back into place, replace the bolts in the flange. Next, replace the hose clamps and tighten them. Next, we'll replace the flange for the engine heater. We'll reattach the hose. Tighten the clamp. Next step is to replace the pulley. The next step is to replace the accessory belt. And the final step, torque the bolts. 
Now that we've installed the water pump, our next step is to open up the gate valves and fill the cooling system back up with coolant. Run the engine and observe to make sure that there's no coolant leaks. And that completes changing out the water pump.